Hey, what's up everybody? We're going to shift gears and I'll take you down here to the Niemeyer station. This is the Niemeyer 3. Starting it off in frame 1 here. Now I'm not going to comment too much on whenever I'm clicking through here. The point being, I just want everybody to see the the type of things that they see in the sky and the horizon down there while well, they're doing their thing it's kind of provoke your thought so I'm going to basically step it through here and remain pretty well silent most of the time and then I'll do a little bit of speaking after we're done
Okay, we've completed all all through the framing. <coughs> Excuse me. So this is the kind of stuff that their cameras record that are we are allowed to look at if it has not been altered, which I do believe they take out some things that they don't want us to see. There's no doubt in my mind. But you can get an idea of what you know what things look like as opposed to uh, certain areas of the globe that you live in whenever you look up and see things. So do you really believe that they are just simply doing what they claim they're doing down there as far as their research and testing goes. And I've always been a proponent that they're doing a lot more down there than what they tell. I mean, that's just the way it rolls. Secret is a secret is a secret, right? So you don't tell the secret. You tell what the public is supposed to be told. You be the judge. It's up to you to decide what you believe. People can only show you things that they find and offer their thoughts upon those to you. Well, the cameras have slightly changed. They don't seem to be the same as, say, a year ago or a year and a half ago or something view that you can get is slightly different. The angle on the other cam seems to be slightly a little bit different. But I still keep up with it and come here periodically to see what they are allowing us to, to, to see. But we have many problems all over the globe. You see what's going on in the Ukraine. Basically, the motherland wants the Ukraine back. And they have for quite some time. They want all of it back, actually. They want to be one big happy family again, like in the days of old. Pretty well the same goes for the Middle East, you know, they want to restore that uh, that big hunk of land to where they're just one big happy family. And in the ancient times, you know, things were a lot different back in the old days of old. And then of course, you got some big stories about the big time bankers all of a sudden deciding to bite it, dumping off, of, jumping off of skyscrapers, you know, tall buildings. Of course, one man offed himself with a nail gun, supposedly, which that was totally bizarre there. If you're going to kill yourself, you can surely come up with some way other than nail gunning yourself to death. So yes, I do believe there's a lot more to that picture than what we've uncovered so far. It's a uh, speeding up, it seems like. They raise the debt ceiling, so you can see both of your sides in in Congress are playing for the same master. There is no difference between Democrats and Republicans, and, and the people need to understand this and get out of this my party thing, I'm in this party, this party. They all suck. They're all corrupt. They all are selling us out. And that's just how it is. You know, they talk on the TV, they talk on to the reporters and in the garbage of the newspapers and they say these things and these other things and well all it is meant for is to to mislead it's 
propaganda. All you gotta do is look around. And you see we're broke as a joke. You can see there's no jobs. You can see nothing's getting better. You can see Obamacare is just designed to destroy things. They're gonna rob from Peter to pay for Paul's stuff. So Peter gets jacked on his price and it goes way up while Paul gets it for free or cheap. It doesn't make anything any better. It's a big circle, a big Ponzi scheme actually. And you gotta wake up and understand these things. I'll shake the tree and rattle it a little bit. These human rights has been merged into the uh, homosexual community to say it is their right. Well, it's not in your genes. It's not in your DNA. You're not born that way. It is a conscious decision to become that way and engage in that type of conduct. So, it's not right to make laws against it or kill people over it or put them in jail or anything like that. That's not going to do any good. The idea, the best idea would be to try to show everyone engaging in that type of conduct is that is that it's the wrong type of conduct and the consequences thereof because this little tidbit of time that you're here as opposed to the f finality of the afterlife where there are no clocks there is no measurement of time it's just on and on and on and on and on for good it's just a grain of sand that we're here as opposed to how many grains of sand that's just an infinite in the afterlife so for the fruit you think you got here if you choose the wrong path there's just going to have to be consequences and they don't understand nor believe that so the only way that you can help is to pray for these people that are doing these things because they, they really do believe it's their right to be able to do these things I mean you don't have the right to steal, you don't have the right to kill, you don't have the right to uh, take another person's spouse you know and engage in an affair or anything you don't have those rights so this specific right that they claim is a human right and now what Uganda is making the news and saying it was a big setback for their human rights by disallowing these type of activities within their country it's not a human right to be able to sin it's a decision made by the individual these people don't see it as sin that's why we have to pray for them because they're in jeopardy and they don't realize it they don't understand it and I'm not just honing in on that one particular thing uh, such as the gay activity I'm speaking about that because that's in the news right now but I'm speaking about sin altogether because it's getting bad folks and it's going to get worse as in the days of Noah there's the way it's going to be with the coming of the Son of Man again and you're seeing everything go down the crapper in a whole lot of different ways but God bless all of you. We're going to need it all. <laughs>